Hey everyone, Turing Hacker here, and we're here to play some Don't Starve. So, played this game a fair amount on Twitch, but I found out that the actual single player has a adventure mode. Didn't know about that, so we're gonna go with Re Reign of Giants off. But let's jump into adventure mode. I didn't know there was such a thing. I thought it was just a big sandbox game. And yeah, so that's that's new. Uh, I'm not terrible at this game, but I would call myself far from great. So that's kind of where we're going to be at at this point. I mean, there's there's lots of improvements that can be made for sure. Say, pal, you don't look so good. You better find something to eat before night comes. Just making sure I... Okay. Yeah. Good old don't starve. So this is back before everything get complicated. A la Reign of Giants. Because that adds a whole dimension of problems that <laughs> drive you bonkers. If this goes well and it goes... I don't even know how long adventure mode will take. I really don't. It might be a 10 minute thing. It might be a 30 hour thing. I'm not really sure. Okay, have not found any flint. That is always a problem. That's probably the thing that KOs me the most early in this game. Not being able to find flint. What time it was not finding grass? What can you do with no grass? Yeah, you die. You die. You die quickly. So the only thing I know about adventure mode, beyond that it's a thing, is that uh, you get to it by finding Maxwell's door, which is somewhere in the world. Oh, look. A touchstone. That's fortunate. And then I found out a while ago, you have to activate them in single player. Would have been helpful the time that I found that out. But no, no one had told me, so I died and did not come back. Okay, so we do have one backup guy, that's good. And fortunately, we're going to have to play through pretty much as long as it takes to find the door in sandbox mode. Just to be able to get to adventure mode. And whatever we do here has no effect on what's going to happen in there, so... Kind of a trade-off there. I really could use some... Some wood right about now. Oh, look, more flint. Good, good, good. Yeah. Been too long since I... Well, not even that long, actually. It's only been a few nights since I played this. On stream, but... Already forgot that you have to, you know... <laughs> hold for the tree. You don't have to, but it helps significantly. My butterfly. Lots and lots of stuff I've learned in this game, so... I mean, there's there's definite advantages to have already played it before, before I take this on. Because, again, I'm not sure what's all going to be there, but I hear it's hard. That's about the only thing I know. I've heard very, very small bits and pieces, but it's okay. I think we'll be okay. I do know enough where we can get out of the very, very quick death situations. But some of the more difficult things, not so much. Probably. Ha, huh, the Twitch plays that I've done. Ooh, boy. Those have been challenging. We'll make it summer, then we'll make it winter, then we'll make hounds come, and then we'll make it rain. And then we'll drop rocks from the sky on you. <laughs> What's that? Mercy? No, we have no mercy for you. I mean, we have it, but we're not going to vote for it. So, only got a couple mods on. Uh, one, just so you can see all the different stats. I just find it nice. Especially if you're observing at all. Just because it's a little... You, you know what's going on a little more. 
just numerically. That's actually all it changes. Well, the temperature does change. Well, I'm at 7 degrees Celsius. That's really cold. <laughs> okay, then. We're... We're not gonna freeze already, are we? It's it's autumn. I don't have a Dang it. Stupid tree, you broke my axe. Well, at least I haven't run into the giant tree guards yet, whatever their names are. That happens if you chop a lot of trees sometimes. And that's fun. They can KO some of the big bosses that you take on. <laughs> uh, run away. <laughs> you can kill them, but it's tough and it takes a while. And they just kind of continuously stalk you very, very slowly. Okay, um... I'm not too worried about surviving for a super long time, because I'm hoping I can find stuff to be able to, um, you know, f find the door fairly quickly. Th the one thing I know to help you find said door is you can make a divining rod. And that was, let's see, with some gears, a bunch of nightmare fuel, and a stick. And it has something to do with, like, it vibrates or something? I don't know. I figured I'll, I'll figure it out when I get to it. Let's pre-build a fire. That's another nice thing that I learned over these times of playing it. You pre-build stuff. That way you can place it when you need it quickly. And then you don't also have to have the resources in your inventory for it. So yeah, we're about to make a torch too, just in case. Might actually use the torch for the first night. Oh no, it's getting dark. Whatever will I do? What the? Turkey! Turkey, come out. Burn, turkey, burn. And forest. Didn't quite mean to do that. Now, you'd think turkey legs are good here. I mean, there is a turkey in there. No, it burned to ash. He's so dark. Charlie's coming. That's the name of the monster in the dark. At least that's what everyone calls him. I have no idea what his actual name is. Okay, so I've just kind of wandered around a little bit. Gathering some rudimentary supplies. Why is it cold? It's autumn. You're not supposed to freeze in autumn. I know this. Not in this game, anyhow. Yet there's ice around my screen. That's not good. Well, we haven't dropped below 4 degrees, so... We're still okay at that point. I mean, it's, it's still doable. And now we got warmer suddenly. Okay. <laughs> now the sun's coming up. I uh, hear spiders. There they are. Let's see. All I have to fight them with is an axe. It's doable. Die, spider. That stun lock's nice. Okay, so got some silk, got a gland, got some meat, let's get some more silk. So I know to make the divining rod I'm going to need a um, alchemy machine. I was going to say, the big problem is right now I don't have any gold, but there's the gold! It's gold! Uh, hmm, what to eat. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, drop some ashes. Pfft, I don't need no ashes. Wait, there's like a healing salve or something, right? I think so. And I need the spider gland and ashes. Whatever. I don't have that right now. 
Okay. Uh, I don't need none of this. No seeds. I'm not gonna plant anything. Okay, science machine. I still need rocks. Dang it. Uh, I'll put them in place of the meat. I could lose that if I needed to. That's fine. Mm, just short. Oh, thank God. I was afraid that maybe I wouldn't have enough, so I'd have to go look for more. But we seem okay at the moment. Oh, look, more spiders. Hello, spiders. Come here. Beat him up with my pickaxe. Ow. Bad spiders. You die. So I still have one gold. Gonna make the science machine with it. Another thing I can pre-build. And then I'll have more inventory space. Yay! Nitri, I don't plan on staying around long enough to need that. I decided to go with the standard one just because I've never done an adventure mode before. So I, everyone always tells me, they're like, Oh, go to Reign of Giants, you'll never regret it. Because... I don't know. Apparently people think this game is too easy. I don't. I really don't. <laughs> I die a lot. It also helps that I do things like the Twitch plays. Which are unforgivingly hard. But yeah, no, there's really not that big a difference other than it's even more unfair in my opinion. Which is fine. Except if you're you know, already adding a thing I've never seen, never played, or anything like that. We don't need more difficulty. We're already going to be tough enough. Wow, I've spent a very long time now just running around looking for... Need gold! Oh, good. Poop. Well, I found the beefalo. That's a thing. So I'm pretty much going to have to drive myself crazy to get the nightmare fuel. Uh, how am I gonna get the... Oh, look, a lot of sticks. Yeah, poor guy. He died because... Oh, if all you have is sticks? Yeah, you're gonna die. <laughs> oh, just shut up and die. It's always good to separate the two. And then we'll punch the spider den to death. Already broke my pickaxe. Sucks. That was taking forever. There. Okay, lots of silk. I'll need that for other things, so... Because I'm... It, it's kind of appearing that adventure mode's not going to be the easiest thing to get to. At least not this time. I could jump in the wormhole. Hmm. May have to do that. Okay. Swamp. Probably not many boulders in the swamp. I'm in a forest. If I can just find the door, that'd be awesome. I don't think that's going to happen, but it'd be awesome. There's a living tree. Or weird. Completely normal tree, I think's the description of it. So they said it's surrounded by evergreens. There's a lot of evergreens here, I must say. But I don't see a door. What a shock. I've only explored some of the world, and yet I can't find this one thing that only appears in one spot in the entire map. It sounds kind of like, from what I understand, adventure mode somewhat random. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> Birdie. My goal, my ultimate goal is to really, that's a lot of sticks that I've found. My ultimate goal is to be able to find the door before the hounds come. And that happens somewhere around day nine. I'm not exactly sure when. I mean, it's somewhat random, but yeah. 
Oh, worms. Fighting tentacles. Okay. Well, I guess I will camp here for the night. I'm gonna go with a little longer episodes in this one, about 20 minutes, I'm thinking. Because 20 minutes is still just over two days, so yeah. Oh, it's surrounded by fireflies. That was the other thing. Let's cook some monster. No, let's cook some har carrots. Actually, still should be out prospecting, I guess, but. At least the science machine is easier, or the alchemy engine is easier to make. I mean, I'm going to have to find a lot of gold, don't get me wrong, but in multiplayer, there you have to make individual comp comp get, get components for it, and that's what you end up like making into the alchemy engine, so that takes a while. <laughs> it's like, oh, then I'm going to make this one, then i got to make this one, then i got to put them together with a bunch of stuff in it. Yeah. The fire is apparently getting a bit low, but Maxwell is not scared. Actually, this isn't Maxwell. This is Wilson. Maxwell's not scared because he dropped Wilson here in the middle of nowhere, left him to die, and there's scary eyes in the darkness. Yeah, I'm going to make another one of these. I know I still have one. So let's adventure outward. Have we found anything yet? Another good thing is it actually pauses in single player mode. My light just ran out. Wasn't sure how long that would last. So definitely want to avoid dying unnecessarily. Tree! The tree's maturing always just... It's like, ugh. Why does it make a noise? a cave. I've only been in one of these, or two of these, I think. And they're not pleasant places to be in. They really aren't. Looking for a door, trying to figure out where they are. Huh. There's no rocks. There's rocks up here, but they're not gold, so... Um... Head back this way, I guess. Not really sure what else to do. Really wish I had a backpack right about now so I could carry more stuff, but I don't. And I'd have to put my science machine down. And I really don't want to do that until I'm ready to build the alchemy engine because... Basically, I'm not going to use it once I get the alchemy engine. So, yeah, I don't really want to make two... You're so hungry. You're always so hungry. Okay, you're full now. And I keep using tab. Or not tab. <gasps> Holy shit! Um. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Ice hounds! Oh, 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 beefalo! Beefalo! Save me, beefalo! Oh, and piggies! Oh, wow! That's a lot of beefalo charging! I would fight them myself, but I don't have any weapons and I don't have any armor. And that's kind of a case of I will die. Pretty definitely. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Seeds, I don't need those. Oh, shit! <laughs> don't get struck by lightning, note to self! Yeah, I might want to put this away. I'm not even sure where to put it, but... Dang, that was really close. Well, found the pig village. Uh, pigkin's probably around here somewhere. So yeah, found a bunch of blue hounds, found a staff, now I have an ice staff. 
Awesome. <laughs> Definitely was not expecting that. Ah, there's a pig king. Don't have any stuff for him, so it doesn't really matter, but... He's just super comfy in the rain. Okay, well, now that I'm finally out of the rain and into the protection of the pig village, uh, that's it for now. So, we will resume here next time. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Turing Hacker, and see you next time.